Okay, welcome everybody here. This is round number 128 of the Shanghai Major Open Qualifier. This is the EU region. This is Kaipi against Vengeful Seduction. In the previous game we saw a Russian 3k stack take it up against Kaipi and well they had a lot of fun doing it. Sadly, uh, well, it was kind of like a crush. And uh, there wasn't really a lot for them to do against it. So. Sucks for them, but at least their dream came true. They want to play against Bone7 and uh, Vagamet, so they're happy about that. They killed him a couple of times as well. Pretty much because of Fountain Dive. But so in the end, they were able to do it. This time around, Vengeful Seduction is gonna try and maybe destroy the uh, dream here from Kaipi to go to the Shanghai Major. We'll see if they're able to do it. With me is Borno in the stats. I'm Sander. We're at the twitch.tv slash swissc underscore en channel. We're going to be bringing you this game through the lobby as well, so for everybody in the lobby, welcome! And while well, having all of that said here, we see some picks coming out. Vengeful Seduction, they went, uh, as their name suggested, here for the Vengeful Spirit. They come it up with the Shadow Fiend, some nice minus armor already coming out from them. Side of Kaipi, they went for the Beastmaster as well, Stask, a lot of single target lockdown so far. And uh, really actually, these heroes are pretty damn strong against Shadow Fiend. Shadow Fiend is not able to withstand against rotations from Tusk, so they will need to get someone in mid. To help him out as well. Um, yeah, there is. Let's see, that would be probably the best way. Uh, this is just answering me, answering a question from the uh, Twitch chat here from Escalade. Uh, there are ways, uh, indeed the first one is to indeed be team friends with the player, otherwise uh, you could always go to Dota buff, they have the things on there as well, but most of the big games are also actually uh, already streamed as well by people, so that will probably be easy, uh, apart from that, yeah, being whitelisted by face it is the other way, but that will be a little bit hard uh, for you to accomplish, uh, but still it should, you should be able to find the games, it shouldn't be too hard, they're highly spectated, so should be okay. Uh, let's just uh, look at the bands now. Darkseer, Bane, Queen of Pain, as well as Visage here for Vengeful Seduction. Nothing too interesting to say about it. All meta heroes, so nothing too fun. KP take out Lone Druid, Invoker. As well as the Undying and the Io here, so. And not a whole lot to say about it, to be pretty honest. It's just. Pretty common heroes and dying. They just don't want to be running against these aggressive uh, and dying here that can just screw up your lanes. They want to make sure that your lanes are secure, so they can just steamroll over Vengeful Seduction. That's usually how you want to play it against uh, when you're just the high skill team against the. Well, I don't want to say they're the low skill. They're still about 3.5k, which means that they're over average of uh, the MMR. So they should be above average players in the end. But still, it's. When you're looking against with professional players against still 3.5k players, you're probably gonna get crushed. For them, it's also really important to pick strong lanes that can actually withstand them. Don't go for anything too weird. Don't try to do the aggressive trial lane or something. You're just gonna get outfarmed across the map. You probably won't even win your lane. So just up to go for something a little bit more safe. What music was I playing? Thank you for uh, the nice music, uh, we ask. It's always good to hear that your music is good. If you have any music requests for the breaks, I'll put them on. Just uh, just come to me. It's fine. Ah, there's some state gaming going by uh, Zambrella, by the way. So, yeah. There you go. Help out the people in the chat here. We're all having fun, everybody. All the cats are pretty much in the same group as I am, so... Gotta give everybody some love. So, and uh, let's see, Abaddon's been picked up by Fangeful Seduction here. At least you won't die too much, I guess. Still, they can easily keep you down as well. Just one bore, get bird time going and just leave you alone. Then you pretty much lose all your value. And at least you're able to take up the roar as well for someone else. That's also a pretty nice play. Don't think Kaipi were going for Mirana anyway, so... They actually go for Tinker here. Ooh, that's fun. I haven't seen too many Tinkers. Borno can look up the stats uh, for uh, Tinker picks uh, and win right here. That would be great. Also, maybe can you check the average timing for BOTs? <laughs> <Take it. laughs> oh my god. So, well, uh, that's something, I guess. <laughs> that hero is so freaking hard 
Nerfed. Oh my god. Oh yeah yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, so did this first of all this destroys their lanes. Like this means that Beastmaster in the off lane is gonna have a good time. And they're just gonna leave their jungle alone. You, if you put this in a in a this this hero just doesn't work this patch, to be completely honest. <laughs> Oh my god, this is just gonna go so wrong. This is all I'm gonna say. They actually picked up Techies here. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's let's say if they are able to at least prolong the, the game for some time and get Techies level 6, then yeah, against the Tinker, free Blink Dagger is incredibly strong. But yeah, that's really it. Getting there is the first problem. And. Yeah, honestly, if Kaipi is... They, they can do so much against this. The lanes are pretty strong. Tinker's gonna be a mid beast monster in the offline, so... They just need to pick up a save lane hero. Save lane hero that's more into 5 mending than into split push, because going split push against techies is just stupid, to be quite honest. As well as Vengeful Seduction, because they picked up a techies, their 5 men is incredibly weak. Like, Abaddon, Vengeful, and Shadow Fiends can be incorporated in, in strats like that, but a techies absolutely cannot. And, well... Because of that, that's just... Yeah. That's just not it, really. Oh my god. Borna, while you're at it, Techies is 3 1s. So okay, okay. Well, I was not expecting uh, that he was winning so much. All four games are in the majors. I guess they're not played by two high skilled teams or. Uh, what teams? Is there like a team in it that we know? Or is it all just unknowns? Noobs are us. I don't know. I don't know the team. I really do not know the team, so... <laughs> That's... <laughs> oh no. Well, uh... Yeah, so... You have a Techies? You have a mid lane, I guess. Fangeful can be run as... This Techies gonna be off lane. Are they gonna do something gay and pick up like a Magnus here? But take out the push, you're pretty logical, Ben. They don't really want to see the hook into it. Uh, why didn't you just pick up Techies, uh, push, and then Techies? And just leave that button. Oh, she so clicked on there. My bad. Hmm. At least they're sponsored by Durek, so I know that they're doing it safe on the side of Vengeful, but they're gonna go and finish it up with an Ember Spirit here. As we get the complimentary lag here in the beginning of the game. And I timed out. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go back in there. A little bit my bad. Should have probably not used push while uh, doing that. But it's gonna be okay. I'm gonna get in there anyway. Uh, yeah. Since I changed, uh, uh, let's see, is my key still working? Oh man, I hate these legs in the beginning of the game, it's so annoying. Okay, is everything good now? Oh, my console card's not working. I'll add the console card real fast. Here we go. Boom. Look at this, don't even have to do anything. Life is good. Life is easy. Oh. Send out this tweet, and then we're gonna get it all going. So, uh, we're all ready. 
Everything is up. Everything is ready. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Still some fun. <laughs> it, it, it's not something you see too often. So, this is gonna be funny to see how this all is gonna pan out here as... Uh, we have Kaipi against uh, Vengeful Seduction here in rounds 1, 2, 8 of the Shanghai Major Open Qualifiers and uh, we'll see who of this, if, if Vengeful Seduction can actually win this Avatakis. I wasn't expecting that one but let's just go through their lineup real fast. As the Big Black Cock is going to be playing the Ember Spirit, Vengeful Spirit is going to be played by KRS. Abaddon is going to be playing by Z, so he's going to be sleeping a bit. Baby Rage is going to be playing this Shadow Fiend. Cancel is really going to do anything about this. He's going to be playing the Tinker. But he's from Kaipi and Delzor is going to be playing the Techies. And this is not really a spot where people are going to walk too often. I guess he's going to try and get them there. These mines are so shit. Let's see, both knee. Well, let's do a Kaipi as well while we're at it. We have Bone 7 on the TA in the mid lane. We have Bifni going to be playing the Dazzle here. On top, we have a dual lane fucking bed with Kinas, and that list leaves Bone Seven here or Cancel, I mean, on the uh, on the Tinker. So let's see. And there we go. And there goes your uh, <laughs> there goes your mines. <laughs> like it was way too obvious. Apart from the fact that people don't come there, just walking around with the board like that this is just a normal play to make Kina might actually die here. Taking <laughs> so much damage, magic missile. They have it ready. They can just kill him. He's gonna go to KRS here, but he won't be able to really escape. There you go, KRS just picks it up. And with that, first kill goes actually the way of Vengeful Seduction. <laughs> so Tinker is not too uh, not too good at the moment. Just 10 to 13 in this patch. So we'll see if Bone 7 or Cancel can really do anything against it. I was thinking Bone 7 is playing him, but Bone 7 is a TA here. In mid, should be more than okay against uh, a Shadow Fiend here. Just look at him, he's already solo. He's not going for a bottle rush here. Both sides have a fairy. Hmm. This lane is probably the most interesting one to watch, kill wise. Most potential. I don't think anything is really gonna happen here. They also are just trying to put mines down, and again, this one is even in the side stairs. Well, and they can just leave it, like, they don't care too much about it. Dels are just gonna TP back to the base for now. He's a little bit too low HP, he knows it. He goes back. So, leaving that. For this right now, and yeah. Really, what can the Techies do this game? That's really all that there is about Baby Rage. Man, he's taking so much, so much damage all the time. Not CSing. Not CSing is actually pretty okay here. Bone 7 just putting a lot of pressure on him. He's just losing a lot of HP. Now, Bone 7, he doesn't have a refraction charge. This might just be a chance here. They're tipping in multiple heroes at the same time. Kia has also been rotating in. They want to go for him. Oh, he's still in the tower range. He gets out the snowball here, but it will just bring him further, further into the. Into the tower, he will go down here. Oh, what buff needs? Gonna be able to get off the grave for now. Two seconds left. One second left. Ah, missed time, but they're still able to give it to Baby Rage here. And they put down the sentry. Man, these rotations from Vengeful Seduction here so far, they're on point, getting kills. Yeah, this. Uh, they actually do get the. What did he do? He's suicided? Okay. I guess he just wanted to deny the kill there. Don't want to give away any kills there. No reason to do that, of course. He's just trying to lure them into, the, into it, but that just really doesn't work at all. What? Really? Really? Dude, cancel, that's so obvious that he's trying to drag you into the mines. That, that, that's, that's not good, man. That's not good. Uh, a little bit disappointed in you right now, cancel. Uh, I was not expecting it. Last game, you just only died when you were just diving underneath there in the fountain. That said, here on top, Kia, he needs to go into a snowball game, but he just... Everybody's around him. He's just going to take so much damage. And here we go. He's down. Ebenon picking it up. Don't want to give it to the big that cock. Really, at the moment, Angel Spirits doing pretty well. That said, they're being outfarmed. <laughs> Finally, Techie dies here on bottom. Buffney gonna pick up the kill there. Yeah, just let's take a look at that. This realistically, they're getting kills, but they're still getting outfarmed. <laughs> 
Okay, yeah, shards. Oh, they do connect. They want to keep on going here, baby race. Bob's a fairy, but we'll go down here in the end. The end. Yeah. Easy kill. <laughs> Rotation from Abaddon was too late. Yeah, Abaddon has been picked up a little bit more, but I guess with the majors, it's. Heroes get picked up a lot more. I don't think the major qualifiers were in the previous patch. So it takes out a lot of the matches. Still a pretty nice win right there. They're actually stacking nicely here for with ZZZ. Gotta give something there to the uh, to the Shadow Fiend later. He needs to catch up a little bit. She has wise, she's pretty okay, but I don't think net worth wise he's gonna be good doing it too well. Mm. You can't really go into this. This is, uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> nice denied double rage. Straight in front of the face. Almost level 6 on Beastmaster. Might want to do something with that. Maybe rotate both, get another kill on the techies. Again, placing the d things here. Really, in the middle of the lane, dude. There you go. Sentry popped. Uh, this. This is just gonna be a free gold. How much was it? 10? Okay. I was wondering between 10 and 13, but it's, it's 10. I don't really play techies myself too much or play against it. And when I play against it, you can just pick up a 5 melee stack anyway and just get a Cradling Blade and just, just destroy them all the time. You can even get an Iron Talon now, Battle Fury, it's, it all works. Uh, can't really gank a fucking bed now anymore. You need to get a smoke. This, this Hawk here will just spot out all your rotations. Ooh, these are nicely outside, but still, it's too obvious. He walks away, loses mana. And then walks back into the lane. That's you know where the where the mines are. It's it's just too obvious to be quite honest. But that said, last time cancel still died to it anyway. And that we're still going more into the favor of Kaipi. They're not having as easy as a game as last time, but they have a pretty strong late game now as well. And they're more more mid game oriented than early game at the moment with the TA and stuff. That said, big black cock. He's taking a lot of damage here, and there comes out the snowball to follow him up. They need a little bit more damage. There you go. They're gonna get it with the uh, axes over there. Roar has been used. Pick up the kill with it. Nicely done there. Techie's still trying to mine up here. I think he should probably look for maybe entry places up here. Maybe one of the two ramps. Maybe this one. The other one is here. There. There. Just look at these kind of places, maybe. These lane these lane mines are not gonna work out too, too well. They're all too obvious. Was well, it just needed 190 damage? Minus reduction. Do they have a lot? What's actually the armor rating right here? Not too high without weave. They're looking for to set something up. And Rage King here. There comes out the trap. They're gonna pop it. He's slowed. But TP rotations are already coming in. They're gonna be ready for this one. At least try to be Vengeful Spirit comes in. But I think this might just be his own death. As he's gonna get poison touched now by Buffini. And Trap comes out, KRS, yeah, he is gonna go down here, this doesn't work. Uh, cancel the TP, cancel the TP, there you go. Good job on cancelling, I guess. <laughs> and they're just gonna go back and start farming it up a little bit more again. Not to do, yeah. Bros of cooldown. I want to set up something with that one again. Seems like they're just gonna go mid again first. They want to keep the, uh, the Shadow Fiend down. They're gonna get a lot of TP rotations. But are they here in time? Ooh, it seems like it. Are they able to turn this one around though? There's no slide of fist, so he just needs to walk up. Oh, he misses on the chains. Bone has no more refraction charges. They need to get a damage in. Oh, the double risk. It's enough. Durix is able to... Durix. ZZZ is gonna be able to pick up the kill there. But because of the rotation, Fuckham is like, Okay, I'm just gonna pressure tier 1 here. So, big back... He should probably put the remnant down before in his... On the top lane. I don't think it would have actually worked. Okay, they're gonna try and cut off his retreat path here. There we go. Chains come out. Keeping him there. Magic missile follow-up. He does have a roar. But this damage is a little bit too much. Kiraz, he needs to get in one hit. Oh! <laughs> Is he gonna get out? No, there comes the miscord from Abaddon. 
The 3 2 build just to get the kills. Same time, Techies had to deny himself and most likely here again. Try maybe to go for cancel, but cancel us. Either had too much HP or a miscalculate or anything along those lines. So there's still a bunch of mines out, but I don't think you'll ever walk there. You just accept the fact that your secret is not safe or your sight and just leave it for now. Magic missile. Ooh, the nice dodge there with the snowball. You know, he should be able to escape right now. Slide of. That's like a fist to change come out, but yeah, there you go. There's just not the follow up damage right now. Bone 7 in the meantime. Just taking up the mid tower here with the double D. Ooh, these are out of range for each other. Yeah, I missed the kill. Shit happens. Techies at least was able to get uh, his level 7 for now. Same time, they're gonna go after Bone 7 here, putting in the damage. They need to get the refraction charge out. Refraction charges are gone, they need to get the raise in, and they are able to do so. Baby Rage. Getting some nice, juicy souls as well as a kill there. They're doing pretty well, I would say, so far. 10 minutes, they're not really too far behind. They did lose some structural damage and map control here, but so, so far, it's, it's acceptable. Bone 7 is not having the best of games. Take a look at the net worth for now. Let's see. Ooh, fucking mess. Actually, the leading farmer here. Top farmer. After that, we have Baby Rage. So he's also doing. Oh, BOT's coming in on the board here. Oh, Burrow time is popped. Cancel's gonna throw out some of his uh, March of the Machines here. It's, it's max level, so it's gonna do a nice amount of damage. Roar comes out on Durex as well. And that will be the end of KRS. Ooh, nice. Uh, cancel. D okay. Ooh, what? 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 They need a little bit more. Run, 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 you fool. It's gonna be the one HP uh, TP out for him. Here we go. Remnant, who is he going to go after? He's trying to get Buffney here. So as Kino, oh, he is just gonna get Buffney for now. But he has still has a grave, so he can just keep on walking and wait until the end to pop the grave. They can even shard it off if they want to, but it seems like fucking Matt is saying we want to go in. Shards come out on Baby Rage. They're doing a lot of damage. There you go. He gets punched to the air. He goes down, but at the same time, Tuzzle will fall for this. Now fucking Matt, he is going to be graved up. But I don't think he will survive from this. He will in the end go down. They even give him them another 60 gold in the form of the Hawk. Oh, 07 just putting in the pressure for now on bottom. Just splitting up the map right now here. Cancel just... March of machining in on top here and same time bone seven just putting pressure on bot. Seems like Buffney. Just wanna push pressure on mid here, that's might not be the best of ideas. Couple more hits. Deny? No, what? He didn't deny it. He could have easily denied that one. That wouldn't have been too hard. Can't really rotate in there, they see it with all with the traps, all the movements coming out. At least towards middle of this. Hmm? Eh? What the fuck is he doing with Orb of Venom? Well, I guess he wants to arrest. Out Dude, I have absolutely no idea. That's just stupid. Getting an Orb of Venom on the range here, right? Especially on the techies. There's absolutely no base damage, so there's no reason to get it. Even if you get more CS in, your what's it? Your starting damage like what, forty I believe. So it's not really a whole lot. Better off getting anything else to be quite honest. Just getting stats will do more damage. Tier two pushes commence there. Fucking Matt has his uh, macro book ready. Setting a double hawk to check it all out. Baby Ray seems to be pushing into mid here, but doesn't really want to commit to it as Bone 7 uh, rotates back in. Where are the mines? Some mines here. Okay, that's nice. They got some going. But there's another Tinker spot. That's one problem. He needs to put them on Tinker Spots, somewhere in the middle of the lane. Maybe smoke up and go for aggressive uh, ones over... If you can over here, but I think that's a little bit too hard to get. 
So I'll possibly just smoke up, go here, put the some down there. But there's a sentry already. That's kind of troublesome. But they need to place them on different places because this, at the moment this, these are not working. I don't think they will be there anytime soon. They just want to go push on towers, get the vision over there. Once fucking mess has a necrobook as well, you're not going to be able to uh, put them down at your towers anymore as well. Because it is going to be a necrobook scouting them out. You know, like this, this one's going to be found first. And they get another tier 2 going their way here. Not denied even, so... Yeah, it's... It's all in the favor now. Oh, snowball. Okay, now the mines might work. Explode. There we go. To love the damage to Kia. They will be able to just turn this one around without losing anything. Now Buffy is going to be trouble. He needs to TP out. Is he able to do so? Nope. There comes the swap. But the Shadow Wave does return the favor. Gets one kill, but that just means some more <laughs> gold to the big black cock. Uh, okay, Baby Rage comes in here, taking a lot of damage. Bone 7 really just wants to kill him off, but uh, GCG comes in, Apothic shields him up. They can't really turn this one around, they should just uh, return for now. There you go. If they follow up after Kaipia, that might be a mistake. Refraction charges are down. He actually let the refraction charges go, that's not too smart from him. They're gonna ram this forward. Oh, they need a little bit more. Mana! One mana! There we go! Chains come out, Bone 7 is gonna get killed off too late with the snowball there, and he even gets killed as well. Nice kills here for uh, Vengeful Seduction. He just. Oh, he killed Tinker with the uh, suicide there. Nice play by him. Oh, fucking mad. He needs to get out, but he's. Do they see him? They see him. And there comes the swap. There comes the magic missile. And there comes another kill for the big black cock. And with that, it's pretty much even again. It might even be in favor of vengeful uh, seduction for a bit. Yeah, this is not going too well here, but... Uh, Kaipi dropping the ball a bit. Don't get why Bone7 was tanking the tower for so long. Don't... I... I that's just weird, he should not have done that. But everybody will just return to... Farming it up a little bit now. See, cancel. Still a little bit off of his blink there. He got his uh, BOTs pretty early, but uh, blink there is letting. It's being waited upon a little bit too long. Man, Kia, he has died six times already. Perseverance has been completed here for the cock. Oh, it's actually Clock. Ah. Eh, I'm gonna keep calling him Cock. Fuck it. You don't wanna set up something in your cancel? <laughs> they got him! This was what I was talking about. Put him on the lane. When the tower is going, you're gonna have chances to do it there. They're gonna go in here on fucking mad doing a lot of damage. There comes the record of souls blowing them up. Kia, he's gonna... Go into the snowball, but they already killed off Buffini as well. Snowball goes forward, but Kia can't really escape here. He's not even able to turn this one around as to get the triple kill here on the big black clock. Oh my god. Kaipi, they're dropping the ball here a bit. They need to get sentries going. They need to get a gem of sentries or something. Delzenor, uh, and... and he has two mines here, but as long as refreshing charges are up, they can't really pop him. Don't pop it, don't pop it. Just let it go. Good job. Throw down even more. Yeah, okay, if you throw it down in front of their face, that might be a little bit of a mistake, but at the same time, both seven is still there. This refreshing good charge are gone, and they put down the sentry as well, and they blow him up with the... Well, the suicide. But the suicide here is more than worth it. Getting the kill on the TA there. Same time, Baby Rage, he is a little bit stuck here with Key, but there's gonna be backup from Cancel. Is he able to at least get the return kill here from Key? No, he's not. Oh, in the end, actually he is with the Death Requiem. He's gonna be able to get it. Vengeful also already died. Who did he die to? To Tinker. One thing for Kaipi, they really do have a lot of map control at the moment, so this is really going in their favor. Just that their XP is a little bit behind, and gold is pretty even. But I don't think they're too worried at the moment, at least they shouldn't be. Yeah, here they go. Biffany picks up the uh, gem. 
Probably go five men up now or four men and then have the Tinker push out the other lanes and TP in. That will be the best course of action for now. Oh damn, that's a long time ago. Uh, the Midsummer League, uh, yeah, that was the one from last summer, right? You can just type in spectating as well. Yeah. They don't see that in the uh, in the lobby itself. At least players don't see it, so that's okay. Does he have BATs? No, he doesn't. He just has Snackwork Book number 3 right now. Still okay for 20 minutes. You want to get the BATs pretty fast and just start pushing all over the map. You can already see that they have a lot of map control and with that they're able to take Roshan here without... ...anything. I am 1k MMR. Yeah, I don't care about the spectators. I care about the players, to be quite honest. The spectators are allowed to see that. That's okay. It's just about the players not seeing what you say. Oh, yeah, that didn't work. The fracking charge from both seven were up. Desert was a little bit too uh, happy on the trigger finger over there. Let's see, cancel. He has his blink now, so that's actually pretty nice for him. Kiras. Yeah, he went for the four step. Well, that's not something you usually see on the fence here. Oh. It's pretty nice against the dust. Oh, nice swap in. Oh, he doesn't have his refraction charges. He goes down. Aegis is going to be popped because of this. Oh, remnant bomb coming in. Bone. Uh, but he has to say, save himself for now. And they're gonna lose Tusk, and they're gonna lose Bone 7 here in the end as well, but at least not without taking one kill back. But that's gonna be all. Ooh! CCC has to watch out. Okay, the missiles are going the other way. He's gonna survive for now. Another four, uh, 1 for 2 trade here. Actually, 1 for 3 if you call, count in the Aegis as well. Uh, the Fia's lineup. I absolutely have no idea. I think they're like a 3k stack. I'll look at Big Black Cock for now. I think they're like 3k or something. I checked before. Mm. Work. What's this? Oh, actually five. Whoa, they're actually pretty good. Is that their average? They have a six k player. I thought they were like three and a half k, but my bad on that one. Seem to be having a lot of hours as well. Mm. Actually, it's a five or six k stack. I was not expecting that. And they're doing pretty well at the moment. They, like the map control is pretty much absolutely gone. And I guess I think it is not what you want, so uh, it's really about the tech. He's now getting mines on uh, strategical places. This one is not strategical. Okay, that's just a camera angle. They're gonna lose this, probably. He needs to place them more on the lane. He needs to place them in such a way that the tanker goes there. Yeah. At least he gets off Dazzle right now. How, where the hell did Dazzle die? Oh, he died there. He finally, <laughs> finally is able to use it. And the gem is there! Can they, they're gonna get a bit rage, he's gonna be able to pick it up, and Cancel walks in. Oh, he dropped his no tally, but that doesn't matter too much. He's gonna die here! Raise one, raise two, he's gonna go down. And with that, Bone 7 really can't go in anymore, he has to run away. Shorts block it off, they get the gem back. Oh, this is a huge victory for, uh, for VS here. Oh, shit. <laughs> Ooh, they're, go they're gonna lose uh, the first tier one here, maybe now. Yeah, they're gonna this is gonna be the first tier one. They're, they're gonna fortify the bit, you know, delay, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's in the end, it's, it's gonna go down. How are the other towers doing? And the other towers are still pretty much full HP. But still, it's the first tower of the game, and that's what it is for the VS. They're gonna try and rotate in on him. I think he has hawks out. Uh, he's gonna use the bears to start. Does he have his BOTs already? No, he doesn't. Yes, he actually went for the uh, blink there. One has some initiation tools. It's also nice to have someone to follow up on the tinker, so. 
apart from just having to snowball. There's a little it's, well thing with snowball when you do use it aggressively, you're kind of all in, and you lose your saving mechanism at the same time. The other side still have saving mechanisms in the form of a Fuzzix shield as well as swap. So yeah. Let's see. Do we see a mental maybe coming out from Bone? No, he's gonna go for BKB. Okay, that's also good against the Ember. He needs to get out of the change for sure. Do need to keep in mind, Techies' uh, land mines are physical damage. Magical damage is the uh, remote mines. So, we'll keep an eye on that. I think Suicide is also physical. Last time I checked. Yes, it still is. Seems you want to rotate onto the top. They still are under the cover of smoke. I see the task. Uh, Durex needs to be in front. Uh, Kiras, I mean. Pelazor. Oh, that's that's not gonna hit. And they're just gonna TP out. They say, fuck it. That one didn't work. Fucking mad, he's just all the way in the back. He's like, eh, well, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna stay over here. I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool here. I got a TP, I got a blink. I should be good. They need to kill off cancel and then uh, instantly try and get fucking mad and then, then they can return some map control at the moment. They just the one problem is that they have like no map control. They're just kind of walking around looking for pickups with the, uh with the map control at the moment with KPS, especially with the, all the hawks and stuff out. They they just know the movements, they see it. All the traps are around the map as well. Let's see. I guess they they have the gem on the on Z, okay. That's pretty good that they actually stole the gem here because they are able to find the hawks and kill them off as well. Here, there you go. Baby rage. There you go. Nice, uh, nice rage on top of the hawk. That's uh, some fishing down. They need to really make a, a check here. You can just see all these mines out. All the mines, the remote traps. So, yeah. Need to get those traps gone. You really want to start hindering the uh, division. Also, get the, the trap out of Rush. I should make the, the call fairly soon to, to go for that. I'm gonna try and go and fucking mad again. So many pinks, but nothing going on. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Honestly, fucking mad should just. Pop his necrobook and look for wards around here. He's always pushing there. He should probably guess that there's some kind of wards out. And Kiras, he's gonna go aggressive. He's gonna get roared up. Now the necrobook comes out doing a lot of damage towards him. He might just die from just this. And they need to help him out, but they aren't. Are they able to do so? Oh, yes, they are. They're gonna keep him alive. And they're gonna lose the necrobooks here. Still getting some gold for that gank. Probably more than they probably would have gotten out of the, uh, the kill on the hero. Tier 2 middle is a less uh, outer tower here for VS. They're pretty desperate to hold on to it. But again, the, there are no mines, really. Uh, this stack is could have had a lot more game impact if you just place mines against Tinkers into the into the small forces and just make a guess. Just drop down 4 or 5. Even just having vision because of them is already worth it. You just want to know where Cancel is. I don't see any Tinker Mines, uh, Tinker Wards here, really. Like, this is a pretty good spot. Roshan, gonna be up in 30 seconds, so. That's gonna be the next spot of Contest here, most likely. I don't think VS can really let this one go, but... Why the hell don't they put freaking Mine there? I'm not... Honestly, I'm not getting 100% what the Techies is doing. He's not utilizing the uh, scouting... Potential that he's, he's finally putting down some kind of tinker wards or tinker uh, mines here. I guess we're gonna call them like that for now. Let's see. Yeah, IP are still happy to just do this. I think yeah, it's, it's about even now. After losing some of their fights, they don't really want to go in again. They just want to. Have them go all around the map and just have Tinker become this scary late game factor. You even went for the blood zone. That's the indicator of that your Tinker is going for a late game build. 
If you if he wins for a little bit more uh, ending now build, you go for the Dagon. Mm. No, no, either lens is not too good on Tinker. See, no, fucking Matt TP's out in time. But uh, that doesn't go here for Kia. Snowball in time. But this will go to Kia Res, and I think they know this. Yes. A little bit of a misplay there from Z. But Kia will survive actually. Don't really want to fight into this one. And here, there you go. DA just picks up the, uh, the Aegis. And again, there's no idea for the side of VS about it. Because they don't place down a mine over there. And this is actually Bone Seven's first time to play TA in a pro game. Or a pro game, or in a ticketed game, I guess, would be the best way of saying it. Mm. Ah, so, I'll stretch out again. Let's see. What will the plan be here for Fies? Like, they're, they're adding kills, but really, it's just experience wise that they're what their lead is. They could have killed him. I think they don't really want to risk it. Did I have the gem back? No, they bought a new one. Okay. Who bothered actually? Buffney bothered again. Okay. Sacrificing some of his uh, of his gold for it, but for the greater good, it's for the team. It's for uh, to, it's against his goddamn taggies. Everybody hates it. So I think they could have utilized a bit more, but I'll, I'll let it go for now. Oh, gone. Will be Kevin does have the Aegis as well. Cancel. What's this next item gonna be? Might go for side here. Just get this control. It would be really nice, especially against the uh, the Ember Spirit. Side. You could even go for an Orchid, but that's pretty shitty. There we go. They find the uh, find the remote mines here, and they just do some bears to uh, the boss to get it down. There we go, and it's gone. Uh, he pops it to get oh, okay. <laughs> At least it's something. Are they gonna? Nope. Change miss. That sucks. Do I have it in the correct ears? No, I knew it. I have my earbuds in the wrong ears. I was wondering why they were so, uh, so weird. Uh, this is better. Still, again, the problem here for VS is they're just all stuck in their base. They have no outer towers, and the ganks are not working really. Kaipi is just so strong. Hello. Uh, yes, yes. There, I do have a Dutch accent, uh, most likely because I'm Dutch. I'm the one and only Dutch caster. <laughs> I can't even go outside right now. For everybody who lives in the Netherlands, they should probably know. I live actually in the north of the Netherlands at the moment. The roads are... We can pretty much go and ice skate on the road, so everything is... Kind of stopped, so I'm stuck inside. Anyway. And for my fault, might just go and catch a little bit more of the open qualifier here. Have some fun. There is no big Dutch Dota 2 organization that organizes events. Gonna be all about Dutch here. Again, these these are not the things to place, but the problem is is that 
<laughs> blink on the uh, on Ember. And now the problem is, is that they have the uh, the gem. So really just placing them anywhere. They just, you can already see fucking Matt is walking around the map all the time to just detect where the mines are. Making sure that there are no easy mines put on any weird places to kill off the Tinker. This is just gonna be a slow death here for uh, for VS. You can finally see that the net worth is gonna go back into the favor of Kaipi. They're really just putting them back in the base. Ooh, guess who? He just remnants back. Swap. Oh, they're gonna go for fucking Meteor. They're gonna be able to kill him off here. Oh, yes, they are. They need to get the gem. 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 Tinker is coming in. They don't want to lose the gem. Okay, he's gonna stop it. They need to take the gem. Take the gem. Tick, 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 tick. Tick. There you go. And now, drop it in base. Now, the big question here is for the side of Kaipi. When can they buy a new gem? Three minutes. So, three minutes are kind of uh, fucked. What does it mean that cancels look out? But yeah, okay, so so we're just typing a bit in the chat, uh, just so everybody knows there's like a 5 minutes delay. Uh, it's not my idea, it's the idea from Fall. Fall says to face it, you need to get 5 minutes delay. So with that, this is a 5 minutes delay. So if I'm, if you see you on the stream, don't hear me talk, I'm typing it from 5 minutes ago. Oh, the Shadow Fiend is actually really easy assing pretty damn well, yeah. What, 18k? Ooh, both 7 Let's probably speak of being go out. Fluttering away. Doesn't really want to stay here too much. Kia, yeah, he's just staying here in the forest. We're gonna get some random uh, wave of terrors. No, yeah, that's not gonna spot him out. Not even close. Yeah, I hope to be at the Valve event. Would be cool. I was thinking of going maybe to the Frankfurt Major, but opted to not do it. Didn't have time. Oh, fucking mad. Yeah, he's gonna be okay for now. Tinker comes in as well. The three cores here are ready to rumble. Supports are rotating. Oh, yeah. KRS, he's gonna go down here. They pop a lot for it, though. I don't think they need to roar for it, but it doesn't matter too much. And the split push commence again. How many of these? These are not enough. He needs to put down more. That's not enough. <laughs> oh. How the hell did he get a kill? Were those enough mines? Does he have eggs? Oh, he has eggs. That explains it. 600 damage, 3 mines. That's what, 1800 reduction of 25. What's that average about? 1400 or something like that? Maybe less. What was wrong with me? 612, 18. I don't even care anymore. It should be about 1400, maybe 13. Chiefer is not really a caster, she's more a host. See, bone 7. Let's just take a quick look at the items because I've been way too much <laughs> going at my chat here. Yes, I'm in Groningen. Anyhow, uh, bone 7 at the moment. He has his desolator, he has a butterfly as well, blink, BKB at the moment. Has uh, BOTs as well, they just really want to split all around the maps. The top farmer at the moment, being uh, Baby Rage King here. 
has an MKB to deal with the uh, butterfly from Bone 7. Sanji Yasha as well. And a Lincoln. Getting ready for the. Uh... Oh, okay, he needs to go back there. Anyhow, big black clock. I think some damage here should be okay in the end. He has his uh, Battle Fury to get it with the Daedalus. He's doing pretty well. Cancel at the moment. He's going for an, either an Eater Blade, Ethereal Blade here. Could be possible, but I still would like the side from him. To be completely honest, fucking mad. He's been stagnating a bit. He seems to be either going for Lotus Orb or for the Refresher. See, that's Delzor. He has the X, like we talked about. Also has a 4 staff next to his name. He's doing pretty well. Kia, Blink, this mechanism. Pretty nice frame. 4 staff is done on Buffney. QRS, still the same as before. And Everdon has a mechanism for the team of VS. You can you can just fight into this. That's the problem. Like the way too many of those freaking little robots coming your way. And the mines are slowly fading away. So yeah, for Kaipi, look at this, just slowly just getting more and more net worth going away. They just want to drag it all out. Roshan is back, that might be a point of contest, but at the same time, yeah, this smoke is not going to work out. Or oh, it's not even smoke. Are they actually just going to run into Roshan? That's not going to work. You should probably know that there is a trap down over there. So, I'm not going to lie, that's a little bit obvious. Oh man, you really need to put the stats up in the game. <laughs> I always forget to look at my uh, sky, but then to have it like in the background. Okay, bone seven. Oh, actually, that's the same from before. That point. Nothing new. In there, so. Bird time pop, but it doesn't matter too much. It's all about just getting that gem back into the base. Let's see, they have another gem now. Fucking Matt actually bought this one himself. Don't want to rely on Buffney too much. Apart from the fact that he actually doesn't have the money for it. There's smoke up, but they're trying to set a trap here, but are they really able to go for this? Because both seven, like, they know that one of their heroes is doing Roshan right now. So they're not going to go at, in aggressively to anyone. And again, that's what it all comes down to again. It's still cheese down. And how it all comes down to the fact that uh, VS are not putting down mines in Roshan. They could have done that, like, 40 minute game at the moment. I don't know, 20 minutes ago. Maybe even 35. It would have been so much better. Oh, do we really want to go into this fucking mat? Oh, he might just be found here. They want to get the gem again. And there you go. Remnant Bombs comes out and he goes down. And there's a third uh, gem of the game. Going the way of VS. Haven't even had to play one. Seems like Steak is losing. At least that's what Chad said. But he has to uh, grave himself. Doesn't have a TP. Does have a cheese, but I don't think he really wants to pop the cheese for this one. There we go. Miss call is going to be enough to kill him off. Uh, okay, bird time just barely not popped. Some straight push from Kia coming in, but it will just mean that he dies here. They can't really come back for this. Yeah, Tinker has to stop his uh, TP. Just with that, a lot of things are going on. They finally got the Aegis again on the side of Kaipi, but they're not able to push with it anyway. Yeah, you can see it going back in the favor of Fias now. It's, they need to group up as five maybe and try to push somewhere, but... The high ground defense from Fias is also so strong here. Having attackies as well as the Ember Spirit is, is so much. And the creep clear from a, from a Shadow Fiend is also not something you can really neglect either. It's also 5.3k. The question is, what will he go for? It kind of depends on how he, how he feels at the moment. Let's go like that, how he feels. Talk about his feelings for now. Uh, maybe Skadi wouldn't be too bad of a choice. Does give you some uh, control over them. 
Same time, Daedalus, get those nice crits, go and get the damage is also that's something to uh, shy away from. Yes, there comes out the damage into Big Black Hawk, and he can't get out anymore, he goes down, they finally get a kill as the site has now also been completed, this is the one I talk about, he looks side, damage, another side, he can just put it on Baby right now, nope, he cannot, but the blink is there in time from cancel, they're putting him back. They're trying to go after Baby Rage, they're able to do so. Oh, nice force of coming out, putting him over the shards here. Kia has to go in deep. This woman that Kia rest is gonna be stuck there and gonna die. They get one gem back here now, finally, after all of this time. They're gonna get the gem, and this is the opening that Kaipi needed. They get the three kills, and now finally, High Grab might be something they can push in to do. They have death mines here. They know what's going on. Oh, he pops on the axe! <laughs> they can't find it now anymore for like one minute or something. Like I said, don't play techies too much, so we don't know the exact timers or everything. Is that Bow7? Oh, Force F, nice play there into the uh, mines. He gets killed. Baby Rage doing some damage in Kia. He's getting low, but there's going to be the grave to save him for now. That's going to be the tier 3. First tier 3 of the game here. they are going to try and get the Rexy. Oh my god, look at all of these freaking robots going around. But I don't think Kaipi can really go in too far right now. Bone 7 says, fuck it, I want to get the Rex here. Keeps on going. Fiesta's not initiating, now Baby Rage comes in, but there comes the BKB from Bone 7. And he just blinks away, taking the melee Rex. And I think they will just leave it at that for now. So State Gaming is out. Oh man, that sucks for them. Damn. Well, I like it. it it's They need to save for uh, for the Ember. So that's good for them. It's good that they got it. It's actually MKB also completed on Ember Spirit. It's 4.8k on Bay Ridge. He has 2.5k. If he wants to, he has a blink dagger. I think that's the last thing he pushes. Oh no, he pushes the uh, the HVD. So he's gonna go satanic. It's also possible. Delos was just completed here on bone seven. He's gonna get it now. So for him, next item to be uh, replaced is most likely gonna be the butterfly. <laughs> Why does he need it? Honestly, Techies doesn't need the blink dagger. If he blinks in and suicides, it doesn't really matter too much usually because uh, big are gonna most likely to be up and there's a lot of armor actually. I don't think it is that worthwhile. But he can do it, but still, uh, there are uh, uh, there are lights I like more. Let's say get a hex, yules, anything to help out your team to be honest. Maybe get an eat lens, but it, oh no, that really doesn't work with your range at least. It does amp up your damage from remote mines. That's something. Oh, I hear the swap. Oh, they're going in aggressive here on Kenzo. Kenzo is going to be found, but there comes out the grave. And he just walks away and he's going to TP back home. Nice try there from Fies, but didn't work out at the same time. Just because the split push coming in from fucking mad. Doing some damage to the tower. Almost goes down, actually. Bone 7. Yeah, you can't really come into this. This is too much. So he just walks up top again. Going to push out the lane. Eight daggers right now. Holy shit. Yeah. We're missing two. Let's see, can Buffney get one? How's his gold going? He can actually get one. He's getting pretty close, just about 200 uh, gold off of it. Techies. He can buy one if he wants, but I think side is probably the better way to go. Or use. Even an orchid would be okay. Really, just anything that annoys the enemy and just helps your team. Going for an item for yourself on tech is not really worth it. Another swap coming out, but Cancel doesn't really care too much about it. Just blinks away and goes for Kiaras, and Kiaras gets low, but he's gonna be forced away. He's gonna be able to survive through all of this. And now the slide of uh, the chains actually come out after the remnant. They wanna kill off Cancel here. He's able to TP out the time. Zero second chance he is. He's back in base, alive and well at the same time. They're just pushing in all the lanes here. Baby Rage trying to fight up against all of them, and he's just gonna go down here. That doesn't work. Cancel comes back now as well, but they're down one. Cancels. He's changed up. Kiras comes in, he wants to kill him, but there comes out the grave! There comes out the roar as well, after the refresh from fucking Matt, he goes down, now Big Black Cock is gonna be turned into a little piggy piggy piggy. Piggy run! Okay, they don't really wanna follow up too much on this. Random gem is dropped. Buffini, we'll just pick it up for now. Ooh, 
Ah, change uh, mist on the fucking mat. If it's connected, I could probably kill them. Did they take any towers apart from the wrecks? Yeah, they take. Oh, they actually took a wrecks here as well. I thought they just took the tower. So they, they got a tier 3, they got a Rex on the, both the bot and top lane. Completely destroying the top with that one. And the bot, I think they took the ranged. Okay, they, they took the ranged. It's not the best thing, but hey, it's better than nothing, of course. Hmm? Did he kill Bow 7? Holy shit, he actually just killed Bow 7 there in this jungle. I, I wasn't looking there. That's my bad, but holy shit, they just got him. That's freaking big. Means that for 80 seconds, they're not gonna really push in. Giving some time for them. And Roshan is gonna be up in the upcoming seconds as well. They need to put a mine down. When will they finally do that? Find Buffney here as well. Yeah, he's gonna die. He can grave himself, but they're just delaying the inevitable for 5 seconds. So here you go. GA just bought back. Oh, they fight Baby Rage doing a lot of damage. Does he have buyback? He doesn't. It's on cooldown. And he didn't use his money to buy anything else. Whoopsie, that's a mistake from him. Now it's two minutes without him. That said, Bone 7 did use his buyback now, so. There's still an MQB on the other side. I think he should just sell his butterfly and maybe even just go for an Abyssal Blade so he can blink on top of the uh, Ember and just stop him. Ember doesn't have a Lincoln, so he's pretty uh, susceptible to that one. It's not, of course, it's not the most ideal thing to do, but it isn't too bad either. A lot of mines. Elzo needs to put down his, uh, his side. He has two more seconds before it. He's just gonna put some damage into the melee rex here. Mine's not popped. Too many refraction charges up. There you go. I put uh, the sign down there. Yeah, this is not gonna work. Once I was uh, too prepared for the mine drops there. They turn one into a piggy, but this is gonna be enough. Oh, they're gonna blow up one. They wanna get some more. Oh my god, KRS is getting so low. And they need a little bit more, and it's gonna come in the form of the shards of the Tusk to kill him off. What can Ember do? I guess Bone the 7 doesn't really need to do anything. He can just kill them. Tusk also has... Oh my god! That's a, a dead techie. He went in aggressively and he just got roared up. They were too ready for that. And now ZZZ... Uh, he's at burrow time, but he will go down before the game ends here, most likely. IP just got really just got a, got away there with the nick of their skin. Oh, that was a really close game. Like it was really just the map control was in Kaipi's favor. Where they were able to push a little bit in the beginning, get some towers, and get the control they needed for Tinker to do what he wants, and for fucking map on the beast master to get his control going to push out lanes all the time. But this could have gone so incredibly different. But in the end, Kaipi were able to succeed from this. I'll go into the next lobby pretty soon once it up and. Ladies and gentlemen, this was Skype against uh, uh, against VS, and they they got close. They they did they played really really well here. With that said, really support to them. With me is Borno. I'm Sander on the Swiss C channel here, and I hope to see you all again for game number three of today for me for Skype. We'll see you then.